It's National Recovery Month. The month recognizes people's own unique path to a healthy lifestyle. Overdose Lifeline is honoring September by building community awareness and hosting prevention events and visiting Daybreak. Mm -hmm. Justin Phillips, founder of Overdose Lifeline, joins us this morning. Thank morning. you so much. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about your organization and why you decided to begin it. Overdose Lifeline is 10 years old this year. Uh, we started because the, despite the fact that I had my own recovery for about 25 years, I didn't understand opioids. So when I lost my son, Aaron, in 2013, I knew I had to talk out loud about prevention and stigma and do something to make a difference, especially around opioids. And you are making a difference. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the work that you're doing in the community. Yes, yeah, so we start with basically keeping people alive by distributing overdose prevention kits, naloxone, helping people understand in this climate we need to test our drugs. And we do recovery support programs because that is so important. And for those who aren't familiar, what is harm reduction? Sure, harm reduction is a public health approach that we use every day. We wear seat belts, we put on sunscreen, we have vaccinations. Harm reduction for substance use disorder is things like naloxone, access to life-saving drugs, testing drugs, keeping people alive so they can find recovery. And you guys are doing a lot in the community to make sure that people have the stuff that they need to stay safe. Yes. Talk about that. So because we have such a great partnership with the state of Indiana and the governor's office, we're able to distribute overdose prevention kits to anyone that needs them. We have them in vending machines. We have them in the lox boxes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can go on our website and request them. You can have overdose prevention kits and fentanyl test strips to test your drugs. Every drug right now is very dangerous. I want you to tell me a little bit more about the recovery aspect. There are so many people who do recover. Mm -hmm. Talk yes. about that. So it's National Recovery Month, so we have to celebrate that people recover. It's a very shamed and stigmatized chronic disease of the brain, but 23 million people have recovery, and it's possible, but we gotta wrap people up in supports in the community, understand it's not willpower and a moral failing, but actually a change in their brain structure and help them find their way to families that are working to support their loved ones, what do you have to say to them? It's very hard. It's a very hard disease. It's very illogical, the behavior. It's very heartbreaking. But try to meet them where they are and help them understand and, and love them and find their way with harm reduction and support without enabling them, which is really important. Find some support for yourself as a family member. Okay. And for those people out there that say, now is the time, mm -hmm. you're talking me into it, mm -hmm. you're talking my language, what do you have to say mm -hmm. to them? Yeah, so the state has a service, 211, where you can call and get connected right away to a navigator and find your way to treatment. Treatment and recovery supports are available. Justin, thank you for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing such great information to our viewers. We want to make sure that we get that information to you on our website, wishtv.com, so check it out later on after daybreak. Thank you once again thank for joining you. us. Mm -hmm.